Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. I'm going to try to make this quick, but you know, I thought this news was really exciting because today AMD announced their upcoming Rembrandt APUs. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I'm a huge fan of these AMD APUs, and we're finally getting something that's really going to compete with a dedicated GPU. Albeit, it might be a lower-end GPU, but these are definitely going to be some of the most powerful integrated graphics that we've seen so far come out of AMD or even Intel. And with this announcement from AMD, they're going to be releasing a lot of different SKUs. And as you can see from this graph here, we've got some new H series, some HS, and even HX processors. And when it comes to the H, the HS, and the HX series from these Ryzen APUs, 99% of the time, they're paired up with the dedicated GPU. And I'm definitely excited to see these because later on down the road, we will be seeing some mini PCs from different companies with these higher end APUs. But I think the most exciting thing that was announced today was the inclusion of their 6600U and the 6800U. And both of these are using the new RDNA 2 integrated graphics. When it comes to the 6600U, we get 8 CUs up to 1.9 gigahertz. Should give us some really good performance here on the GPU side of things. But what I'm really looking forward to testing out is the 6800U. We've got 12 CUs up to 2.2 gigahertz. That's on the GPU side of things, our DNA too. And when it comes to the CPU side of things, Zen 3 Plus, six nanometer design, eight cores, 12 threads, up to 4.7 gigahertz. And this new integrated RDNA 2 GPU is gonna be known as the AMD Radeon 680M. We've got those 12 CUs, 768 unified pipelines, and in the 6800U and H, it'll be running at 2.2 gigahertz, but they did up the clock when it's in the HX. It actually goes up to 2.4. And they did spend a little time talking about the gaming performance of the 6800U, which was actually really exciting. So the first thing they showed off here was a little percentage gain over the 1165G7 and the NVIDIA MX450. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be running at 28 watts, which is totally fine in my book. I don't mind running these APUs at a little higher wattage. But they're claiming a 303% gain over the 1165G7 and the MX450. Low 1080p Doom Eternal. CSGO 1080p Ultra 146% gain. Fortnite 1080p Medium DirectX 11 78% and so on and so on. And when it comes to graphs like this, it really doesn't tell us much because we're not exactly sure what was going on with that 1165 or the MX450, but we were actually lucky enough to get some FPS charts for a few games using the 6800U. Far Cry 6, 1080p medium settings with FSR set to quality, 59 FPS, and this is 1080p medium settings out of a mobile APU, which is really good. You could drop this down to low and definitely get over 60 with it. Next up, they showed a few more charts from a few more games. So Call of Duty Vanguard, 1080p low, FSR set to quality. They were pulling 114 FPS. Deathloop, 1080p low, FSR set to quality again, 73 FPS. And Godfall, 1080p low, FSR set to quality, 61 FPS. So it definitely looks like this chip is going to work very well with these games that support FSR straight out of the box. And hopefully developers bring this over to more games, but... You know, we really got to get our hands on this to see what we can really do with it. And along with the CPU performance bump and that new GPU, they've also added the all new connected laptop platform to these chips. So it does support USB 4.0, DDR5 and LPDDR5. And this is really going to help out with that GPU performance. Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2. FreeSync, HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort, and even the AV1 Media Engine. So yeah, I'm really excited about these new APUs, and keep in mind, this is just the mobile side of things. We still got a little time before they announce the new desktop APUs, but I think those are going to be absolutely amazing, because when it comes down to it, one of my favorite chips of 2021 was the Ryzen 5700G, with a nice little overclock on the CPU and GPU side of things with some fast DDR4, we were getting some really good performance. So seeing RDNA 2 in those desktop APUs in the future is really going to be awesome.
So that's going to wrap it up for this one. There's actually a lot more to these new Ryzen mobile chips. And if you're interested in learning more, I will leave a link to the AMD website. You can check out their keynote there. You can view it in full. I think it's like 45 minutes. It's definitely worth checking out. And keep an eye out on the channel because as soon as I can get my hands on a 6800U, we're going to be doing a lot of tests, especially emulation with this thing. I got a good feeling we're going to get amazing performance out of this chip. So let me know in the comments below what you think about these new 6000 series APUs. I'm really excited about the new RDNA 2 two integrated graphics and uh, you should be too if you're into these mobile APUs. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one and like always thanks for watching.